My name is Rebecca Zung, and I have been a divorce attorney for many years, and I am now revolutionizing the conversation about divorce. My first experience with divorce was not as a divorce attorney, however. That exposure came much, much earlier in a few different ways. The first time I even remember hearing the word was when I was in elementary school, and I remember whispers that James's parents were getting a divorce. I didn't even know what that meant exactly, but I knew that the children in my class were very solemn, and so I knew it was supposed to be bad, and I knew we were supposed to feel sorry for James in some way. A few years later, when I was 14 years old, my own parents divorced, so my younger brother and I then got to experience as children what it meant to be caught in the crossfire of anger and resentment. Then at 19, I decided in my teenage wisdom that it was time to get married myself. Maybe I was seeking the family I had lost, I don't know. But critical to what I'm about to share with you in how and why I'm revolutionizing the conversation about divorce is what happened at the altar. Because I remember kneeling in front of the priest with my new husband next to me and a church full of onlookers behind me and the priest proclaiming that what God had joined, no man could divide. And at that moment, I thought, well, if I want to be out of it, I will. Probably not the best way to start a marriage with a complete lack of integrity for the words I had just vowed. Well, three small children and 10 years later, I made good on the only words maybe that I actually meant that day. And I ended up putting my own children through a divorce too. So I finished college, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, put myself through law school at night. And guess what, I did meet my current husband in law school too, but more about that in a minute. This is the first set of videos that I will be sharing. And why am I trying to revolutionize the conversation about divorce? Because 50% of first marriages end in divorce, 67% of second marriages, and 73% of third. There is not one person watching this video that can say they've never been impacted by a divorce because the waves of divorce ripple through and impact family, friends, co-workers, and anyone that comes near it. Everyone's been affected. Yet with these statistics, and as many people have been affected by divorce, it's still viewed through the lens of failure, stigma, so how is it that our society lauds a 50-year marriage where two people might have belittled each other and miserable every single day, that's a success somehow, and yet that's somehow better than creating an opportunity and opening the space to the possibility of a relationship that's built on the foundation of integrity, friendship, common goals, and respect. Oh, and how about love? Shouldn't the most important relationship in your life inspire you and empower you? In my book, Breaking Free, a step-by-step -step divorce guide to achieving emotional, physical, and spiritual freedom, I explain that there are really three parts to a divorce, emotional, physical, and spiritual. And so my book is laid out in three sections. Much like in death, People have to go through certain stages of emotions, fear, anger, resentment, guilt, apathy, and more. Then there's the physical divorce, the fun with lawyers and financial disclosure and petitions and final judgments. And then finally, there's the spiritual freedom, meaning that you can get yourself to a point where you realize you don't have to be a victim of someone else's problems that no one can make you feel bad without your permission. And even better, you really get to decide your future. So back to my story. I married my second husband, and we have a bright, beautiful 12-year-old together, and we're happily married. The difference this time, I stood at the altar and I meant every word of my vows. Words mean something. Integrity is the foundation of that. I'm not pro-divorce. Rather, I'm for the possibility of relationships that inspire and empower you. 
and through my next series of videos, I'm going to show you exactly how to get out of the relationship that you're in if it's not serving you, your mind, your body, and your spirit, and exactly how to create a new beginning and a new future right now.